Hello, everybody. I am Reginald Bullock, and we're here with Trey, and this is Just Living Life. I hope you've been watching us and looking at some of the other episodes and learning. We have fun doing it, so we're glad that you're here joining us, and we're about to do it again. What's up, Trey? What's up, Reggie? How's everything with you, man? All's good in the hood, man. Hey, I understand that. As always, well, actually, I was about to lie. It's not always good, but at least in the day, though, I try to at least sleep peacefully, knowing that the day's going at least somewhat productive. It's always a nice little journey, always some progression forward. So, I mean... The hobby. So, we, why, why did you say we want to talk about hobby? Well, because I'm actually... So, long story short, how this came up was I've been talking with my aunt about people changing, right? Okay. And so, I, I started to say, my, my belief is I don't believe people change. I think we adapt. And I think you can say, yeah, well, change is a form of adaption or ad adaptation or adaptation is a form of change, however you want to classify or however you want to structure that sentence. I don't think change is based on society. I think change is based on internal. So as a result, that's why I say people don't change. However, you think change is based on internal. Yeah. So people don't change. You know, you just kind of contradict yourself, right? When you say that, I mean, like external, like like society makes people. I feel like so. I feel like people change because of society, but I think that's more so adaptation. Some survival. people, some and, people change because of society. Right. Other people change because of growth and evolution, and and that's part of their journey. So, when do you think you should allow people to? Because I, I think there is a grace period between changing and learning. So, like early on, I think you're learning, so you're not necessarily changing. You're always learning. Yeah, uh, so I think there's a difference though between you like a kid versus when you're an adult. You're always learning, okay. yes, but like there is a. So I'm curious to see where you're going with this because you 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 sound like you want to make a point. Yeah, so why I, there's a that change is not necessarily change, but it's adaptation. Because when you're changing, quote unquote, but I say when and when I say quote unquote, that's my adaptation. Okay. You're really basing that off society. You want to have an easier life. You don't want to go against this. You don't want to go against the grain. You want to go against this. You don't want, you want to stay, I guess, in, you don't want to be in the limelight. So if you feel a certain way, society feels differently. Well, nowadays, oh, anything can happen. Social media, you can get out it real quick. A lot of people can put you on blast. You might be viewed as a, a weirdo or whatever the case may be. Now, you're not thinking for yourself. You're not changing because you really feel this way. You're changing because of how society might view something. And that's the cultural perspective, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Because all change is not cultural. Suppose when you were younger, mm -hmm. you did a lot of things that you now wish you didn't do. When you say younger, what age are you talking about? In high school. I kind of say that's a, like that's still like a kid-ish. Like, like, do you agree or no? Because I, I do give like a little leniency to kids. You're a kid now? No, no. That's I'm my saying. point. Now versus high school. Okay, okay. Yeah. So in high school, you may have done some things mm -hmm. and hurt people, right? Deliberately. Because mm -hmm. you didn't know better or uh, to your point, it was a cultural norm or it was the way you were raised mm -hmm. or you just didn't like somebody and your level of maturity caused you to just be that person mm -hmm. or level of immaturity, lack of maturity. Cause you to just be that kind of person, right? There's a lot of people that do stupid stuff because they just don't know better, right? Right, and they haven't learned yet That's fair. the yeah. differences between what they did and what they should have done. And now, hindsight, twenty twenty, in your thirties, mm -hmm. like, ooh, I should have done that. Yeah, I really hurt that. I, I need to go call that person up and apologize for for the Reggie back when he was 14, 15 years old, telling this girl that pink doesn't look good on her. And then for the rest of her life, she didn't wear pink. And then one day I saw her at a high school reunion. She said, do you realize I never wore pink? Because, because of something you said back in high school. And I apologized to her. Mm -hmm. And then I felt compelled to go out and buy a pink blouse, you know, and mail it to her. And so my point is, I changed. But I guess, so I, I guess when I'm saying that, I know in high school, again, like you're a kid, so I feel like you are going to change because you don't necessarily think for yourself. I know, at least I'm speaking for myself personally. I know I would regurgitate maybe something my parents said or whatever the case may be. Yeah, you know what you've been trained to know. Right. Right. Um, and then even still, like when I said those things, I kind of, like in the back of my head, I'm like, 
it don't really feel right, but it's still going with what I've been taught and stuff like that. And eventually I like, I guess came to the conclusion, no, I don't want to carry on that way. That's not how I want to portray myself. And how but did I don't you come to that conclusion? Because uh, it was, again, something that I felt I kind of got to meet other people uh, who, I, I guess I got more experience in the world, mm-hmm. but I was able to come to my own conclusion. That's why I say I didn't change. I think as I got older, like once you kind of come to your own conclusions, I think that's what I mean by like you're not changing. That you're kind so of. So what are you doing if you? Initially, you're growing. Okay. Like, yeah, but then after that, once you're going to hit that point where you can think for yourself, which right. I don't think right. that's exactly at 17, 18 years old. Like, well, like 18, 19, I think that's where you can you you start to think. 25, 27. And that's why I say 18, 19, you start to think. Right, like, right. So that's why I say I give a little leeway into that. But 20, 21. That's when I say people don't officially, like, officially you don't change anymore. Like, that, that's kind of who you are. You kind of just adapt to society. Because it is, t- it, it is tough. But that's also kind of doing it without defining what change is. So what is change? I feel like change is when you realize something needs to be done differently than what you've been doing. So you're going against your own norm. And it's not based on society mm-hmm. saying, oh, well, if you don't do this, you're going to get like, scorned. If you don't do this, there's going to be consequences and repercussions. So like, if, if I was told, okay, well, I'm not going to hang around this sort of person. And then later on, I come to the conclusion, no, 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 I actually don't mind hanging around with this person. Like, what I was taught, what I thought initially was wrong. And right. nothing to do with society. That's change. That's why I say- So can you change your mind? I, you can, I'm just, I haven't really, like, I don't, I don't think I've necessarily changed my mind, my, my perception per se. Like, I, I think like even, okay, take for example, hustler versus being quote unquote lazy, right? Like, or maybe I don't, I know you said, you don't necessarily like, like the word Keep lazy. Going. I haven't, like, I, I've adapted to hustling more. Right. But my natural, like, who I would rather be, I would rather kick back, relax, like, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I say I don't think people really change. I've even analyzed myself. Like, I don't like reading. I never liked working out. I never liked detail-oriented stuff. I don't like detail-oriented stuff to this day. To this day, people, I don't like working out. Come on now. I mean, you know, I got that hands working. But, like, you see the rest of the stuff, this team still. Like, so I don't think people really change. And I've, and I've analyzed myself. That's the reason why I say we talked about hobbies. We talked about hobbies. I think that kind of also brought us into how are we living, too, because mm-hmm. you told us about what we like to do. Mm-hmm. Then, um, let's see here. We talked about power. But before we talked about that, well, I um, mean, what else? Oh, change. change. I don't know about that. You sure we changed? We talked about, we talked about change? Yeah, you talked you about change. You know, we should talk about change. He talked about change. You know, maybe I forget. My bad. I'm getting old nowadays, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize. No, we talked about that. <laughs> But yeah, so now we talked about changes and we ended off with power. I think that was a good little segment, though. Yeah. Um, and again, if, if y'all haven't been watching, you know, all these episodes do kind of build on top of one another because we talked about building and expanding foundation. Mm-hmm. We didn't talk about intelligence and, um, and hustle. Oh, we talked about hustle, not intelligence. But we talked about intelligence and hustle in a different episode. Oh, yeah, I just meant on this episode. We okay. didn't, yeah, like, everything builds and expands upon one another. We're not talking about all the episodes. Right. right? We will reference other ones. So yes, I hope y'all are, are, are enjoying that. Uh, even Reggie says that I'm not cutting grass and you saw my reaction is still. Y'all work. Y'all work. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to do, you, one day, you're going to change. <laughs> you're gonna move your I'm going to adapt. <laughs> I'm going to adapt, dog. There is one change. I promise there's one thing I will keep from eight, or from youth to adulthood is I don't like y'all work. I don't. I don't. I don't. But I mean, there's always tomorrow. But not do yard work. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's the perfect time, though, to end the segment. We can skip flowers today because you were talking about yard work too much. That's too close to yard work. I don't like flowers enough that much. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all have a good one. But please, before you do that, hit that like button, subscribe. You know, tell anybody who's anyone about the show. If you want to leave a comment or two, we appreciate that. Uh, my name is Reggie. I mean, my name is Trey. This is Reggie. And uh, you listen to Just Living Life. So I hope you all have a good one. Take care. All right.